this video, made by my always amazing and lovely mother, we are in Munich, the third largest city in Germany and the capital of Bavaria. We're at Munich Airport and we want to get downtown. And the best way to do that is to take the S-Bahn. Now, S-Bahn is a German concept of commuter rail that is present in most big cities. The Munich S-Bahn has eight lines, 150 stations, and is used by almost a million people a day. The system was opened in 1972, just in time for the Olympics at Munich. Most lines travel on one section together through downtown Munich, and part of this corridor is the Munich City Tunnel. Now, fares are integrated in a system together with the subway and trams, which I'll get to later, and rolling stock is made up of bright red Baureihe 423 trains which are a very common train throughout Germany. Now, the S-Bahn, even though it's operated by DB Regio, is separate from the regional trains, such as the train we see here. Now before our train went into the city tunnel, we were able to see some really cool trains headed towards Munich main station such as this ICE and this next train, which I'm really excited we caught on camera. This is Eurocity 194 from Munich to Bregenz in Austria and Zurich in Switzerland. And what's unique about it is not only the SBB cars with the Panorama car, but the fact that it is diesel hauled with two Bauhaia 218 locomotives up front. Now we've arrived at Munich Hauptbahnhof. This station is actually made up of four separate stations. You've got the main station where the ICEs depart, then you've got two regional stations to the sides of it, and then underground you have the S-Bahn station and the subway station. I mean, it's all one station, but they have different wings, and it's just a very cool place to be. Now we say goodbye to the S-Bahn, and we'll go up to the concourse to see what else we can ride to explore the city. Now Munich has a really good tram network. Here we see the old station building that has since been demolished and here we see a tram. To me, I immediately see the trams in The Hague and that's because they're the exact same model. This is the Siemens Avenio and is the newest tram that operates on the Trembahn network. Now we're taking a slightly older model through the city. Now this is an R model tram and this particular tram was delivered somewhere between 1994 and 1997. Now the Munich tram network is made up of 14 lines, the newest one having opened in 2019, and 83 kilometers of trek, which isn't super long for European standards, but still, they're an important part of Munich's transportation network. Now one thing that I find interesting about the Munich tram network that I don't really know the answer to, maybe one of my viewers does, is why they call it the Trembahn instead of the Straßenbahn. In most other German cities, the streetcars are known as Straßenbahn, but here the signs say tram everywhere. At night, instead of 14 lines, there are four lines that make up the night network. Obviously, we didn't use the night network for this video. Now let's transfer from the trams to the subway. The German word for subway is U-Bahn, and the Munich U-Bahn opened in 1971, one year before the Olympics. It is completely interconnected with the S-Bahn network that we mentioned earlier, and of the six lines and two rush hour lines, almost the entirety of the system is underground. And a lot of the stations are very modern and very cool places to be. And this train, which is a type C train, is also very modern. I've said this before, but I love it when train doors light up before they close. Now there's some older rolling stock too, such as this Type A that's about to roll in. And these were built in 1967, so before the system even began operation. And what's really cool about these is the same as on the older rolling stock of the subway in Vienna, Austria, is that you need to manually pull like a handle to open the doors. Thank you so much for watching this video about public transportation in Munich. Now, if you watched this video and you were like, man, I wish I could travel, but you can't because of the current situation, don't worry. Trains Are Awesome has train reviews, flight reviews, bus reviews, any kind of travel imaginable, we have it. So please check us out and subscribe. 